Getting into Grease Pencil might seem a bit daunting at first because it's a really complex looking software, but everything in there is there to make your life a bit efficient. So let me just tell you a few tools that I like to use that makes the process of animating frame by frame animation much easier for me. The Ears tool obviously comes with several different types that you can use, but what I find the most useful is erasing by stroke. That is really useful when you have complex frames and you want to get rid of the entirety of a single stroke. So use the lasso selection tool to draw around the bits that you want to move and then you can move it. But to move it, you need to switch to edit mode. So once you do that, you can draw around the bits that you want to move and then press G to move it, R to rotate them, and S to scale them up and down. Next, we're gonna jump into sculpt mode and then check out the fun tools there. So using push, it allows you to just kind of shove the lines around everywhere to get it out of your way if you want to stretch and deform an area. Grab allows you to hold onto a single point and then drag it out if you want to create some sharp points, some edges, or whatever you want. Strength increases the density of a line, so it becomes a lot heavier looking. Thickness increases the weight of a line, so it gets thicker, essentially. And smooth makes it as smooth as you want to, so go ham on that because it cleans up all your shitty, shaky lines that you drew with your hand. Next, we're going to switch into object mode and figure out how to add a reference. So we go ahead, add, select image, select your reference, and then it immediately maps it onto a plane for you. That's the power of Grease Pencil. Hope this video helps you. This is what I did using it. Um, it's just a really quick animatic, but it's really fun because Grease Pencil is here to make your life easier.